eighteen eighteen pounds. What? <laughs> eighteen thousand two hundred and forty eight pounds. I was. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> and I'm the one who's had the Snickers, not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day, and I've already done this once. I know. So what's that in U.S. dollars? $28,755. Woohoo! That's really good. It really is. So congratulations to um, Edward Russell for finishing that. You did a lot better than I could have ever done. Yay, you rock and, Edward. Um, as far as I know, donations are still open, so I'll post a link into the chat room now. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I hope I'm paying attention. Note to self in the future, pay attention, because you need to post the link right now. Okay, yes. good. Yes, okay. So link posted now? Link is posted now. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, then, um, apparently some newspapers in England are trying to uh, make Doctor Who look like it's come out worse than it really is. They're just jealous because the bill got cancelled. Yes. Well, the funny thing is, it's one of the um, newspapers. Uh, they they didn't mention a specific newspaper. They just said, and I quote, unlike the overnight ratings, which certain newspapers use to claim the show is losing viewers. Mm. All right. So um, it shows basically series six so far, what they've shown so far. Um, the series, you know, the uh, – Ratings accumulation. This is not counting um, people who have recorded it to watch later. Um, it doesn't include illegal downloads. It doesn't il include um, iTunes or anything like that, any of the other ways to watch it. This is basically just people who watched it live when it premiered. Okay. Um, let's see. If, if I'm not mistaken, this might actually just be in the United States in the United Kingdom. I don't know, but it very well could be both the United Kingdom and the United States. Overnight ratings for Night Terrors, which is the episode you just finished and the episode that we had two weeks ago, is um, the overnight ratings were 5.1 million, which is really good. Um, and the overnight ratings for The Girl Who Rated, waited. <laughs> <laughs> good job, me. Okay, The Girl Who Waited is six million. So obviously, you know, Doctor Who is not hurting for fans. No. So yes. By any means. Especially considering that Matt Smith knew absolutely nothing about the legacy that was Doctor Who. That is pretty impressive. I still don't know how anyone could live in England or basically anywhere in the free world and not know about the legacy of Doctor Who. Well, okay, if you live in the United States, we watch or we didn't get it at all. We got um some Tom Baker and some uh, other doctors, but we had basically reruns on PBS, the public broadcasting station. And anyone who lives here pretty much knows that the public broadcasting station is where you see all the um antique road shows and the Blah, blah, blah. The stuff that you would never actually watch unless you literally had nothing else. Like, even the infomercials are boring you to death. And that was back in, you know, 70s and 80s. Well, then in 89, it shut off and didn't come back until 1996 with the god-awful movie. And then it came back again in 2005. Well, it hadn't crossed over, and by the time it did come to the to the United States via BBC America, they'd cut it to hell and back mm -hmm. because of all the commercials. Because in England, it would be a hundred and a hundred, <sighs> one hour and fifteen minutes, and then to cut it all down into like forty five minutes in order to make room for all the commercials, we missed a lot of the good parts, and a lot of it just didn't make sense. Ah. And that's the era that Matt Smith grew up in. I mean, he was born in, what, uh, 82, I think? <gasps> so by the time he would have gotten to the age where he could have remembered all of this, it was 89. Dude, that's so... no excuse. I was watching Doctor Who and I was born in 82. Now, admittedly, I was scared out of my goddamn wits, but I was still watching Doctor Who. So, nah. <laughs> no excuse. Well, well, I don't know what his excuse is. I'm trying to make up something to, to sound as if I'm defending him, as if he's actually going to listen and go, thanks for defending me. Yes, because, you know. Here's my number. 
<laughs> yeah. Please, 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 from my mouth to God's ears, please. I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hmm. I don't know. I'm trying, like, you know how you guys have got, like, Gen Con and Dragon Con and all those types of things. Australia yes. has Supernova, which is, like, humongous. And it's the biggest in Brisbane. Not in Sydney or Melbourne or Perth. It is the biggest in Brisbane. So because of that this year, Supernova have decided to do two Supernovas in Brisbane. And they've sort of made the second one as the excuse of, oh, well, the Mad Men cosplay competition needs to have their finals. They may as well have it in Brisbane. But Christopher Lloyd couldn't make the first Supernova this year. So he goes, oh, I'll come back in November. That's all good. So, yes, I'm trying desperately to go to Supernova on my birthday not to my daughter's school fate. I do not want yes. to be dealing with fairy floss and lucky dips. No, thank you. I want to go and, and see all my fabulous friends and all the cosplay people and, yeah, be a little bit nerdy. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to be a certain level of nerd to even find this anywhere near appealing. But the best part is Doctor Who is starting to get a huge, huge recognition at these things. And, like, um, I have a friend, Janie, uh, the person I was talking about earlier. I'm going to keep introducing her as my friend, as if none of you know who she is. <laughs> Just like my friend Robin, who is probably in the room. But anyway, yes. um, she has gone to a couple of um, little little conventions, nothing like Dragon Con or Comic Con. And um, she said you know, she would talk to people around these um, little conventions and, like, even so much as a year ago, you didn't see anyone from Doctor Who. You saw, like, maybe one or two. Now, you see so many bow ties and fezzes and converses and sonic screwdrivers and fourth Doctor scarves walking around. It's unreal. No, oh, best one I ever saw was a YouTube clip from a girl who was at Supernova, I think it was last year. She went as the TARDIS. That is so cool. So she got a box and she painted it blue and she damn well walked around with this box on. And goodness knows how she did that because Supernova is like the one of the most packedest things ever. You feel like a sardine all day. And and unfortunately there's sort of a thing going around where cosplay people aren't the best at personal hygiene. So I'm thinking I might need to borrow that box just to keep a little bit of space around me. Well, you know, there's uh, there's this one podcast guy who um, he says it's called Swamp Ass is what he calls it. Mm. And basically it's because all these people get into these costumes and they usually time it at a time when it's really, really hot, especially like Comic Con. Mm. Comic Con saw over 100,000 people. Oh. It's a lot of people. And um, yeah, everyone gets, you know, in a big room together and it's hot they sweat and they create what's called swamp ass yeah visual no yes so for anyone out there that's listening and feels quite um generous we are now accepting donations to help get belinda over here and then to get both of us to either comic con or dragon con and we're going to go as TARDISes so we have a little bit of personal space. And we're going to hang, like, air fresheners on the inside of the box. <laughs> <laughs> so then we wow. can all walk around going, nee, 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 <laughs> <laughs> And drive everybody nuts. Yes. No, we're going we're gonna to break out into random dance and song and go, woo! Yeah, for those of you that don't know, the reason why there is now a clip, um, t- or a clip of music, telling you whenever we're fixing to start the Doctor Who segment. It's because, um, well, apparently uh, I got tired of me singing it, and apparently I'm not all that good at it anyway. So, Who, um, who told yeah. you that? I did. <laughs> well, that person should be shot. You're good at it. <laughs> I should shoot myself. You heard it here first, people. <laughs> okay, should we get on with our stories? Yes, uh, this first story was given to us by Janie. Yay, Janie. You know that friend that you have no idea who she is that I keep bringing up? Yeah, her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, Belinda, have you ever had a stalker? Uh, not technically, no. All right, so about 
Uh, how many times do you get phone calls during the day or the week or whatever? Telemarketers uh, included. Telemarketers included. Oh, God. 